हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ऑन मैकेनिक्स ऑफ चिप फॉर्मेशन इन मशीनिंग मशीनिंग एज वी नो इज द आर्ट ऑफ रिमूविंग अनवांटेड मेटल फ्रॉम ए वर्क पीस विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ सिंगल पॉइंट और एक मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल इन अवर केस इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस टेक एग्जांपल ऑफ अ सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल एंड ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी कैन सी अ मेटेलिक वर्क पीस नाउ as soon as the tool comes in contact with the work piece and we start applying force with the help of the tool into the work piece what happens the tool starts removing uh, some unwanted metal from the work piece in the form of chips now what are these chips let us try to uh, understand this with the help of this photograph this is a drilling process and we can see that uh, so some spiral uh, sp spiral shaped uh, objects are coming out uh, from the uh, from the holes these are nothing but these are the unwanted objects uh, uh, which we call as chips in machining the unwanted metal pieces which we don't want and we try to remove this now to help you visualize this cutting process i i have shown a three dimensional view of the setup where a single point cutting tool is removing some some amount of metal pieces from the work piece in the form of chips you can see here the direction of the cutting tool and the chip flow are, are shown with the help of blue colored arrows now see this chip formation takes place due to shear force so to understand this entire game of chip formation we have to first understand the concept of shear force very clearly so let us assume we have a rectangular bar where we are applying forces at both its ends as if we are trying to elongate this bar so this kind of forces as we know are called tensile forces now in the same bar if we reverse the direction of these forces what will happen the forces will try to compress the uh, metallic bar this kind of forces are also known as compressive forces now in the third case let us assume we have a metallic cube and a force is applied to to the uh, top end going from the right to the left left hand side and another force moving from the left to the right in the bottom bottom half so this the, the result of these two forces on the work piece will be that the work uh, work piece will be sheared away let me give you a very easy example of shear force let us assume we have a scissor we uh, and we are trying to cut a piece of paper with the help of this scissor so when we try to cut the paper a downward force is applied from from one of the scissor blades as as seen in this diagram while an upward force is applied by the second blade the result of this cumulative effect of these forces is that on on, on the paper is that the paper in between these two blades will be sheared away so this is what shear force is all about okay so now let us try to understand the chip removal process more closely as we can see in this uh, diagram it is a 2d view of the cutting process <coughs> where, where a single force uh, sorry single point cutting tool is removing some metal in the form of the chips the face, the face of the tool that is rubbing the chip is called the rake face and the face which lies just near the machine surface is called is also known as the uh, flank flank face by the way the machine surface is nothing but uh, it is it is the newly generated surface of the workpiece okay so now when the tip of the tool starts applying pressure in the workpiece what happens is that elastic deformation starts taking place so as we go on applying more pressure it exceeds the yield strength of the material and then plastic deformation start to take place the uh, plastic deformation will first uh, begin from from this region this is also called the primary deformation zone and this plane it is known as the shear plane because shear forces are acting on this plane so okay so now the angle made by this shear plane with the machine surface is also called known as a shear angle it is denoted by phi we den usually denote it by phi now there is another zone where this uh, second stage of deformation takes place this is also called as the secondary deformation zone as we can see in this picture it happens just when the chips uh, rubs vi vigorously with the rake face of the tool while flowing out a tremendous amount of friction is generated actually here so now uh, th there is an uh, important parameter called the rake angle what is this rake angle it is nothing but the angle made by the rake face of the tool with a perpend perpendicular drawn at the uh, tool tip this parameter is very important because it directly influences the shear plane angle and the shear plane area for example if we have a very uh, large rake angle what will happen it will result in 
a smaller shear plane area so sh small shear plane area is desirable why why because uh, the forces if the shear plane area is small the forces required to form the chip will decrease decrease and thus uh, as, a, as a result of this um, less amount of temperature will, will be generated so we can see that there is a di direct influence of the rake, rake phase on the cutting tool also the power required um, will also will be less in this case okay so lastly we have the clearance angle which prevents the flank phase of the uh, tool from rubbing the machine surface if the flank phase if there is no clearance what, what will happen the flank phase of the tool will rub against uh, the machine surface and uh, um, some amount of friction uh, fri friction will take place which will deteriorate the life of the tool as well as it will deteriorate the surface finish of the um, uh, machine surface so we don't need all, all these things so we are giving a small amount of clearance now care has to be taken that the clearance angle should not be too high or too uh, less it there has to be a optimum limit so this was all about chip formation so now that we have reached the end part of this lecture let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture the first point is that the chips are unwanted metallic pieces that comes out during machining then we saw that the chip formation takes place uh, mainly due, due to shear force imparted by the tool on the workpiece the third point is that yeah, the chip formation starts from the primary deformation zone in the shear plane followed by another deformation in the tool chip contact surface where tremendous amount of friction is generated this is also called known as the secondary deformation zone and then finally we saw that uh, a rake angle a very important parameter determines the shear plane area which in turn determines the amount of force and energy required for cutting so this was all for today if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment box and for more videos please subscribe make thank you